Hey team, we are here at uh, the beautiful Kutztown campus. We have our all staff site visit today with staff all around the region coming together to plan for our Kutztown regional camp here in late June. We'll have approximately 500 athletes from across the region, uh, as well as coaches and volunteers and staff. Uh, I would like to invite you, our donors, our board members, our volunteers to come experience Kutztown Camp. So what we're doing is we're having a bus come on Tuesday, June 27th. It'll be a great way uh, for you to experience, taste, feel, touch the ministry in action uh, and to see the great impact that this camp has on athletes all throughout the region. The idea of bringing a bus up here to Kutztown Camp to visit originated with uh, a couple of state board members. Brian Hubbard, who's been our state board chair for his two-year term, is coming to an end uh, at the end of this fiscal year. Brian's been an incredible um, volunteer and ambassador uh, for the ministry of FCA. So Brian, we, uh, we just thank you so much for all you've done for FCA and for me personally as well. We are excited and have identified uh, who is going to fill in Brian's uh, shoes, and that is Devin Walsh. Devin's got uh, great energy and excitement for the ministry. He's been a great friend to me uh, over the past year and beyond, and uh, we are excited to launch Devin in September 1st into our new fiscal year as our state board chair. And as we come to an end, I would love to uh, share with you a story from the field. Take a listen. What's up everybody, I'm Eric Robert. I've been a area representative in Maryland since about November. Uh, through FCA, I've been helping to coach a high school lacrosse team, uh, just pouring into these young men, um, investing in them, building relationships with them, spending a lot of time with this team. Um, and I was beginning to notice after a couple months, a couple weeks, um, that I wasn't necessarily seeing the fruits of this time that I was putting in. Uh, after some prayer, a couple weeks later, I had a senior on the team reach out to me, tell me that he's been an atheist since he was 13 years old, but he wanted to start to develop his faith, didn't know where to start. Uh, so he asked me if I would sit down with him and teach him something about Jesus. So the, me and this athlete have been meeting every single week, uh, once a week to just learn about the gospel and who Jesus is and uh, why he needs him in his life. Uh, and now he's even starting to invite his teammates to join in on this with us. Um, just wanted to share that with you because I'm inspired by it. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm excited for our next update next month. We will update you with happenings in PG and Baltimore County on our next video update next month. Stay tuned.